So that's the first screen of a game. Okay. So whenever someone click on the start game, and you'll find that that's the snack here, right? You need to click on up button, left button, down button, and right. Okay. But you have to get this food. Okay. So just make it here and make this one left and get this food down right and you have to make it right to get this one food and make it down but if i am not able to get and you will see the snack is reached the age so this game is over and here is one score option also you can increase the score on getting the food whenever this snack get the food we will increase the score okay so that's the overall game so click on the start your project and that's project name okay so i'm using your game 007 that's my app, app name okay you can change your app name you can just make a snack game here okay and click on okay we are using your mit app inventor to create this app okay now that's the first screen now here we need the first screen for a start button screen so i'm going to use your one layout and that one is vertical arrangement and make this one with this fill parent and make this hide as fill parent like this and i'm going to change this background color something orange and i'm going to use your label like this click on vertical arrangement and make this align horizontal center and make it center uh, you can change this label name. I'm going to use your snake game like this, and I'm going to make it 30. Okay, and you can change this text color also. Okay, and I'm using your one button to start this game. Okay, and just type here start like this. You can change this background color also, right? And make this at least 18 and make it font bold. Fine. So that's the first screen of our game. Now, whenever someone click on start game, so we have to disable this one layout and we have to uh, display another layout for game. Okay. So I'm going to make it visible off for now. Okay. Now here we need one more uh, arrangement, uh, vertical arrangement. So I'm using your vertical arrangement, this one, and make this one hide this fill parent and make this with this fill parent. Okay. And here I'm going to use one canvas. In the left side, you will find drawing and animation, and here is canvas. Just drag and drop this canvas here, and make this hide as fill parent, and make this with this fill parent. Okay, and click on user interface, and I'm going to use here four buttons. Okay, for that uh, I have to use another layout. So click on layout and use your horizontal arrangement. Drag and drop this layout here, like this. Okay, and Click on this horizontal arrangement and make this with this fill parent. And we have to drag and drop all buttons here. We need to just copy and paste this button two, three, and four times. And change all this. We have to change all this button name. So I'm going to use here up, down, this one for left. We have to move our uh, snack up here, okay? So that's why we are using up here, right? Okay, up, down, left, right. Click on horizontal arrangement and make this one center. Align horizontal should be center like this. And I'm going to change this background color to orange. And I'm going to use your buttons background color to something, something yellow or orange. I'm going to use here another one, custom color. So I'm going to use here tab this one. Okay, and I'm going to copy this code and change this all buttons color okay like this fine let's look uh, fine right now i'm going to make it font at least 60 so this look great right so i'm going to change this background color also because we are using custom so i'm going to paste this color make it font size at least 16 make it font bold make this text white okay you have to do all uh, this steps for all buttons like this okay so I'm going to do it again, turn, font size 16, make it font bold, make it this text color white. Click on another one, button 5, make it background color custom, change this background color, change this font bold, make it 16 
and change this text color to white yeah it's look great now now we have to change canvas color i'm going to click on canvas and you will find here you can change the background image or you can use your background color so i'm using your background color and make this one black fine now that's the overall design now we have to use your one image split okay so user interface no uh, this will find you will find this one is drawing and animation just drag and drop this image split this one is our snack and we have to use one ball here and i'm going to change this ball color to something orange pink or something another this should be look like food okay so i'm using here suppose this one like orange and i'm going to make this radius radius at least 10 okay click on image split and i have to change this image split image split height should be 10 uh 10 100 pixel and make width is 100 pixel like this and click on this picture option click on upload files click on choose file i already have this one image actually so i'm going to download folder and i have to upload one image and that one is snack image snack okay and i will give you the link of this image or you you will find this image in the google okay so this one image okay i will give you the link of this snack so that's the game here right now now we have to do one more layout so i'm going to make this one also just drag and drop this all and this one is overall this one is uh, vertical arrangement and this one vertical arrangement too i'm going to make it visible off for this vertical arrangement too and i have to use another one more layout and that should be a game over layout okay so just drag and drop one vertical arrangement and make this fill pattern can we copy paste this let's try me control c control v yes we can amazing that's amazing right so i'm going to delete this one okay and i already have copied this one right make it visible right and i have to change this one uh, start game click on start so we have to just rename this to restart restart okay now we have to use one more thing and to make this vertical arrangement visible off make this vertical arrangement 2 is visible on and we have to use here one more thing that one is is a score okay so i'm using here one more uh, button here or one more label you can use label here so first i need to use your layout and that one is horizontal arrangement this one okay and i'm to make this one with this fill parent and i have to use your two labels first one and that one is second click on the first one label okay and change this text to score like this and click on another label and make this text is zero okay and change this all font size to at least 20 make it font bold click on another layout this one this should be also 20 and make this one font bold okay this one is the horizontal arrangement too so i'm going to click on it this one is four layout this one is third click on horizontal arrangement and background color we have to change it to at least yeah this one is fine right i'm going to make it in a center align horizontal center is center so that one is your score okay now we have to do one more layout so i'm going to make this one also just drag and drop this all and this one is overall this one is uh, vertical arrangement and this one vertical arrangement too. I'm going to make it visible off for this vertical arrangement too. And I have to use another one more layout and that should be a game over layout. Okay. So just drag and drop one vertical arrangement and make this fill pattern. Can we copy paste this? Let's try me. Control C, Control V. Yes, we can. Amazing. That's amazing right so i'm going to delete this one okay and i already have copied this one right make it visible right and i have to change this one 
uh, start game click on start so we have to just rename this to restart restart okay now we have to use one more thing and to make this vertical arrangement visible off make this vertical arrangement 2 is visible on and we have to use here one more thing that one is is a score okay so i'm using here one more uh, button here or one more label you can use label here so first i need to use your layout and that one is horizontal arrangement this one okay and i'm to make this one with this fill parent and i have to use here two labels first one and that one is second click on the first one label okay and change this text to a score like this and click on another label and make this text is zero okay and change this all font size to at least 20 make it font bold click on another layout this one this should be also 20 and make this one font bold okay this one is the horizontal arrangement too so i'm going to click on it this one is four layout this one is third click on horizontal arrangement and background color we have to change it to at least yeah this one is fine right i'm going to make it in a center align horizontal center is center so that one is your score okay now right now we have to click on vertical arrangement and make it visible off and now click on vertical arrangement one and make it visible on whenever someone open our app so this screen will display here first okay now we have to code for this whenever someone click on the start button okay so we have to start that uh, start the game so we have to disable this vertical arrangement uh, first uh, first one and we have to uh, visible off this one and we have to make visible on for basic vertical arrangement to go to the block section and just click on vertical element plus sign and click on button whenever someone click on button one it means the start button so we have to disable uh, visible off side vertical arrangement visible should be false okay like this make it false oh, and just copy and paste this one and we have to make vertical arrangement 2 should be true like this okay and i'm using your this one okay emulator so whenever someone click on start you will find here this way this screen will display second one screen right okay so we have to code for this screen here right so i'm going to make it visible not visible off and make it visible off so we have to do some code so how you can do go to the block section whenever whenever someone click on the start button so we have to make this is snack uh, right you know we have to move this snack so what we will do click on the vertical arrangement tool and where is our snack click on canvas and image spread this one is our snack okay you can change all these component but uh, name okay you can rename all these component from here click on this image split and i'm going to change this uh, next sn sp right image split sn snack image split okay so snsp you will find here so we have to move this uh, image split right whenever someone click on the start button so click on this image split and you will find your speed where is this where is this yes set snsp dot speed to and just drag on the option here and the left side you will find variable in this line one variable here and this should be sn sp speed this one is variable and i have to assign this variable is uh, value is 5 i'm going to assign this value 5 and just mouse over get sn speed like this fine so now initial in the initial stage the snap speed is 5 right now okay now go to the design uh, here and you'll find this will uh, move in this direction so we have to move uh, we have to move this snack uh, in the up down left and right direction so what we will do whenever whenever someone click on this up button it means this which one this up one it means okay uh, make it this one make it horizontal element 
click on button 2 it means button 2 it means up so I'm going to rename this up VTN make this one is down VTN okay so no one can use with this uh, with the code okay this one is left BTN and this one is right BTN okay fine now go to the block section whenever someone click on the up BTN so we have to move this snack in the up direction right in so whenever someone click on up BTN so just click on this SNSP it means this one is snack and you will find here the hiding option set as an SP heading so just drag and drop this here and make this heading is 90 okay just type here 90 like this just refresh it and this this one is working or not so whenever someone click on up button you will find that this one is up okay so just copy and paste this copy and paste again and again and make this one two three and four it means up button for the up if uh, i have to make it it uh, down so i have to use here minus 90 minus 90 and if you want to make it in the left so you have to make it 180 and if you want to make it in a right so you have to make it zero so i'm going to change this right between like this okay so uh, let's see if this one is working or not so I'm going to make it vertical arrangement should be false and uh, vertical arrangement should be visible. Let's refresh it and how it's work till now. I start game. I'm going to make it up, down, left, right. This one is working perfectly, right? So now let's do some more code. Okay, so we have to do one more uh, lot of things here not a lot of it's too, uh, too many small game it's a very small game okay you don't need to worry now whenever whenever the snack is collide with the ball okay it means the food uh, snack food so I'm going to make it visible on whenever this snack collide with this uh, image split it means this sorry this wall it means this image split collide with this wall so we have to make it like a disable or you can make it as a uh, you have to move this wall in the another random position okay so how we can do this? how we can do this go to the block section now whenever so click on SNSP uh, you can click on wall and when wall dot collide with it means whenever wall collide with anything when we have only one thing here is snack so we have to move this so click on wall and you will find your move uh, option called wall dot move to in the random position so in the max you will find your random option random teaser so make it here like this and i'm going to make it 500 and just copy and paste this one also and make it also like see so this will move automatically in the random position okay now we have to uh, increase the snack speed also okay so what we will do whenever this wall collide with snack so we will increase this in a slide global so set global speed is click on maps and you will find your plus option just drag and drop this here click on as we get snsp speed here and we will increase it from the one okay so this will uh, the now speed is six okay now this one is fine now what we will do we have to uh, increase the score right now we have done the speed option whenever a wall collide with the snack so snack speed automatically increase we have to increase the score also so whenever a wall collide with the snack so we have to in uh, increase the score also so i'm to initialize one more variable here and this one is score a score okay and this score should be zero and make this copy this whole content like this okay and then change this global to score and we have to global score plus one right so whenever this uh, okay set global speed now we have to change one more thing uh, one more thing what we need to yeah we have to display the value also right so i'm to use a label 
which one we are using here this one is label 4 it means score and the rename this is score lbl label okay click on okay go to the block click on score label you will find here score label set score label text this one and this should be get global score this one fine now how we can make game over so whenever this is like collide uh, reach the age it means whenever this will collide with this age of our phone so we have to make it game over so how we can do this that that's very easy so click on this snack option it means in the snsp image split and you will find here when snsp age reached right this triangle we have to disable the horizontal this one vertical arrangement it means to make it false right make it false and we have to enable another vertical arrangement and that one is vertical arrangement 4 and this should be true right we have to uh, make this one set global speed should be also 5 okay so write this okay and one more thing uh, what do we need to do we need to uh, age reach this one is false this one is true and global SN speed is 1 right now let's run this app and let's see how it's work or not and whenever we are facing problem we will solve it okay so we have to make it go to the design I'm going to make this vertical arrangement disable and make this vertical arrangement 1 should be visible right let's see click on start again now I'm going to make it up right and just create down make it you will find here this one is here ball is here it means food is here up left now let's uh, reach the edge you will find here this one is key click on restart button okay we have to code for restart button also let's see so we have to code for restart button so where this is click on vertical arrangement and button 6 this one is restart button restart btn click on ok and go to the block and whenever someone click on restart button so we have to disable it means vertical arrangement 4 should be false it means this one and paste it, uh, again copy paste and vertical arrangement 2 should be true like this Okay, whenever someone click on the restart button, so you will find here the snack. So where is this snack? In the vertical element to SNSP, we have to move this SNSP. This one copy and paste this. No, no, this one is a ball. SNSP move, SNSP move option. This one SNSP move. Okay, and we have to move this one here. So for the X value, this should be 44 and for the y value this one is 234 okay and now let's see this one is working or not okay we have to make uh, visible off visible on visible off this one is fine visible vertical arrangement 2 should be visible off and vertical arrangement 1 should be visible on refresh this and click on start make it game over right let's see how it's work game is over click on restart button right this one is working yeah perfectly now we have to make uh, we have to change this actually vertical arrangement for a uh, screen we have to make some little change here i'm going to make it game over this is not a snack game game over like this so now the game is ready fine so i'm going to make it disable no make it off vertical element should be off vertical element false this should be enabled all right so that's the game here that's the first screen of a game okay so whenever someone click on the start game and you'll find that that's the snack here right you need to click on up button left button down button and right okay but you have to get this food okay 
So just make it here and make this one left and get this food down right and you have to make it right to get this one food and make it down but if I am not able to get and you will see the snack is reached th so this game is over you can restart this game again right so click on restart you will find here this if you have any doubt you can ask me on command